Do you use songs in your classroom? Many teachers of young learners love to use songs. We use a song or a chant with every lesson in Magic Time. That's because young children love to sing. It's easy to teach chants and songs in Magic Time. The chants have simple patterns and the songs have easy to sing melodies. You'll notice that your students will be singing along after only hearing the song once or twice. A good song will stick in students' brains long after class is done. The new vocabulary words and grammar patterns keep on repeating. With each repetition, students gain confidence moving from input to output. Students learn in many different ways. You can build in multiple intelligence strategies by using visuals, music, patterns, and movement for reinforcing your vocabulary and grammar. Give your students a few movement ideas and invite them to share theirs. For example, we can show our students a picture card and we can make shapes like this. We can make a heart with our fingers. We can make a heart with our arms. After they've learned the vocabulary, place the picture cards on the board in the order of the chant or song. Add sight words to create a simple rebus reading. I see a star. I see a star, I see a circle, I see a heart, I see a square, I see a triangle, I see a rectangle. Hooray! Young learners can actually read the song. Add simple instruments like this, if you like. Developing 21st century skills is easy to do through chants and songs. The four C's are critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, and communication. When students create a movement to a song, they're developing their creativity and imagination. When they work together, they're starting to collaborate, and all the time they're communicating with each other. Songs are one of the magic ingredients to success in our classrooms. Students practice their pronunciation in fun and meaningful ways. Your students will start to build a list of their favorite songs. Ours certainly have. <laughs>